Hello everyone, welcome back to Egg Block with Loma. Uh, I was going to step right into it today, just been a few minutes, but we were talking, working on these. So I guess let's get started. Okay. So we'll start right here with our fluid transposer. Okay. So fluid transposer and it is invar gold redstone glass machine frame bucket so I have machine frame so iron redstone and invar iron Bar, aluminum, and bar, and redstone, and gold. Electron, this one's gold. Okay. Now, for the transposer, we need to make a bucket. Because we can never find our bucket, it always disappears. <laughs> And we need glass. Let's get some glass. Okay. 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 Fluid transposer. Okay. We need this. It's easy. And we need two of those gears. One, two. Oh. Should have shift clicked it in there, we would have got two. Okay. There's that, and that should have that. Fluid transposer. Okay. We'll go ahead and set this down here so you can see what it is. Let's get into this bag. We need our wrench. Okay, if we set this down, we'll see, we can turn all the sides off or on, shift click, turn them off, you can turn them back on as you want, got your auto input, your redstone mode, your augments, which you have to upgrade it to augment it, of course, and then it, it uses 20 RF per, op, per tick for the operation. Okay. Tells you what it does. Basically, what you do with this is you take buckets of like redstone, like liquid redstone, put it in here, it'll empty the bucket into this tank. And then you can put a bucket in here and it'll take from the red from here, put it in the bucket, and give you the bucket back if you want it, depending on what mode you have it on. Or you can set it next to another machine, such as a crucible that melts stuff. You know, and so you can melt your redstone and it'll connect to this and go automatically into here. And then you take, you fill your buckets up from here. So, but we don't have the crucible. I didn't see the quest for a crucible. Huh. Yeah, right there it is. Oh, we need netherrack before we can make that. Okay. That's kind of out of order. How do we make netherrack? But there's a quest for it. Let's keep resources right here. Okay, so we'll get to it eventually. But let's go ahead and finish making these. What was next? Guess we should have looked while we were here. But I don't worry about collecting that yet. So we'll step over here, fractioning still. Okay. We'll probably end up using this for power, maybe. We've got that other source though, so I don't know. Anyway, let's make a fractioning still. The right button. Fractioning still. Okay, we need nickel. Copper, same thing 
everything on that. Another machine frame with the glass and tin. The tin and nickel is what we need. Tin, nickel, and copper. Okay. Copper, yeah, copper, tin, and silver, tin, copper, tin, and nickel. Nickel is this one. Yep. All the colors start to blend together after a while. <laughs> okay, we need this. Just one of those. Let's back up from there. We picked the wrong gear. Thermal foundation. That's the one we want. Okay. And we want a thermal one again. Get two of those. We want one of these. And then we want one of these. Get our invar gear, our nickel gear, sorry, and then we have our fractioning still. And we'll set this down over here so you can see it. Actually, the same thing you put one liquid in the other side, it breaks it down into a superior liquid or another liquid, usually superior. And any byproduct will go into this slot. You know, like say you take um, liquefacted coal and you turn it into naphtha, and its byproduct is um, a ball of tar or something like that. You take the naphtha, put it in here, run it through, and it spits out sulfur here. And over here, it's, um, I forget. I forget. But show recipe. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Probably on the last page. Naphtha. See here. Naphtha. Naphtha uses. Go into uses and go over to the fractioning still again. It returns into refined fuel. So. That's the way that works. Pretty easy, simple stuff. Okay, next machine. Let's go ahead and get this other one right here. Energetic infuser. Not sure what this is, but let's find out. Energetic. Energetic infuser. Hold shift for detail. Okay, charges items. Okay. Okay, that one is silver. Yeah, we need silver. And electrum. Silver, electrum. Is that it? Yeah, just silver and electrum. That's all we need. Silver, which is this one. And electrum is that one. Okay. A lot of materials in our inventory. Okay, we need one of these. One of these. Two of these. Two of these. these and then that should get that and then this should get our part there's our machine energetic infuser okay. see you put like see is it in here oh it's in here like this, we don't have any power hook to it yet, so, but basically you take, you put this here, 
and it'll charge it and spit it out here. I guess. No, it doesn't look like that. It uses energy into compatible items. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Or that. I don't know. I believe, though, you just put this in there and it charges it up and spits it out over here. I'm not sure what that box is for. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. But if we had a decent quest book here, we wouldn't be having these questions. So, but mm, induction. Let's make the induction smelter. Yeah, let's make an induction smelter. We need one of those. Okay, induction smelter. There it is. We need our gears. I think we're going to have everything for this one. So let's go ahead and get our two Invar gears. Get a nickel or a ten gear. Just one though. Just one. And then we need another bucket. And this thing. That should be all the parts. Should be able to just craft it up. No, no, we still need this. Okay. Now that should have it. That has it. An induction smelter is just an alloy smelter. You can it would be a regular smelter, or you click this button and it opens up both slots so you can make it an alloy smelter. So and it has two export slots. Not exactly sure why. Oh well, but that's that. And next machine. Apparently it didn't register us having that machine before I placed it. Tet. I did make the induction smelter, right? Induction smelter. Yes. Hmm. That is not cool, man. So not cool. I guess we'll make another one. I'm going to need two anyway, so yeah, let's just make another one. See what went wrong. I might have shift clicked it out or something, didn't realize it. I don't think I did, though, but I, you never know. Weird things happen. Reception coil or redstone, yeah, reception coil. Okay, what else do we need? We need that. Okay, you know. Alright, I have two of them now. See, one, two, count them. Huh. Okay, well, I guess between episodes I'll figure out how to push that through. I know there's a way to push that through. So, wood from trees, coiling machine, autogenic awesome that thing. Let's go and make a photogenic insulator. I have no idea what that's for. Let's go ahead and stack those up. See, they don't even stack. Oh well. No, not there. Okay. Let's see. Where are 
we're making the wrong part. Okay, it was an insulator, I remember that. Insulate. You know what? Let's do this. Push this button. Autogenic. P-H-I-T-O. Okay. A dirt. Lumium. Okay. Dirt and lumium. Lumium is this one. Dirt. I don't know how much dirt we have. We only need two though, so. Not that one. I want the thermal one. The other one's probably cheaper, but. Two of these, one, two, one of these, one, one, give me one, just one, need one of these. Okay, and then I believe we still need this. And I should have it. Okay, this one infuses planets with sun and RF. Not exactly sure. Let's set it down and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, you can put fertilizer there. Maybe it grows the plants. Put water in there a bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll hook it up eventually and check it out. But I didn't hear a dingling on that one either. Something's wrong. Huh. I don't know why those aren't doing it. I don't know, guys. But let's go ahead and get the fluid from trees. I guess we should have clicked on that. Figured out what we needed to get fluid from trees. An arboreal extractor. Okay. Arbor. That should be enough. We we'll need a bucket. Okay, we need that. Easy. I'm scared for a minute. I thought we were going to have to do some work. Copper, iron, gears. Need two of them. Well, we're out of iron. And copper, we need this. We may already have this. Yes, yeah, see, we already have this. Okay. So, there we go with that. Okay, and what you do with this is you set it next to a tree, and it sucks juice out of it. Um, for it to work best, it needs to be a naturally grown tree. It can't be one you built or just a block you placed in front of it. It needs to be an actual tree you grew. And I believe like pine and spruce and stuff like that are the best ones to use. Um, but see that one completed. Huh, I don't know. That's weird how some of these are complete and others aren't. But Next, we need a coiling machine. This machine I've never heard of. So let's see what it is. And if I erase that first, and let's go with that. Coiling. Um, 
I did something wrong. Oh, thermal mediator. Yeah, thermal mediator. Let's go put an R right here, maybe. <laughs> thermal generator. Thermal mediator. Right, I need a block of copper. Really? You're not gonna let me make a well I don't have any copper. I thought I had copper. Copper. I need a block. Just give me a block of copper. Instead of making it, I've just got it. Okay. An in bar. One of these. And these are iron gears again. I need more iron. Okay. of those. Okay, we're about out of time. we got to hurry. Right, we need another device frame, which is a copper gear. Apparently we're having storms. Is that right? Copper gear? Yeah. This one. This one. Get that. There's the device frame, and there is that thing. I have no idea what it does. Oh, sweet. I know what that does. You put it down and machines around it, they, their ticks go by faster. That's nice. Yeah. So, but that one's done. Okay. And we're going to hold off on collecting these quests. Next time we come back, I'll have pushed those through, and then we'll go on from there. I need to get this. I need to figure out how to get another rack. I'll figure that out because we need to use the fraction or this machine. We have to have that to use the fraction still. We have to have that. So I've got to figure out how to get another rack. But with that, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit that like and subscribe button if you don't mind. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that. Leave it down in that comment section and we will address those as we get to them. With that, thank you very much. You have a nice day. Later, later.